Greetings programs. This is Wretch and welcome back to Shadowrun Returns. When last we left Dralgoth, he and the shaman Shannon Halfsky had hired two other Shadowrunners, a mage by the name of Galloglass and a decker by the name of Portex, to come along with us to this hangar facility so Shannon can commune with the spirits of the dead inside to try and find more information on her brother's killer, potentially the Emerald City Ripper. Now we've headed back here and we're going to look at the gate and it looked like the gate had been knocked down and the facility has already been infiltrated by some other unsavory characters. However, since we're the unsavory players playing this game, we're the ones that count, so let's get to it. Will they follow me? Ah, excellent. Okay. Scrawny guard. He, you there! This block is off limits! There's, uh, we've got a gas leak on the docks here! No loitering! This guy doesn't look like one of the hired mercenaries. Thank you, Shannon. Hey, are you even listening? Get out of here! I'm not here for you. Just let me through. Look, guy. I didn't want to have to do this. Oh, is he going to attack me? Oh, he's running for the... Oh, man. Oh, well. I feel bad for the scrawny guard. Let's do this. Machete in hand. One more time for good measure. Sorry. Nothing personal. Just business. Let's go, guys. Oh, wow. There are actually some employees here. It looks like we'll probably have to search the facility. Yeah, we can't even get into the... Uh, looks like it's locked. Alright, well, let's go searching. We could o we'll head to that hovercraft that we saw when I was here the first time. The one where I found all those grenades. Oh. Okay, there's the copter. It wasn't a hovercraft, I'm sorry. Alright, nothing out of the ordinary here. I'm also looking for any kind of item or anything dropped down that we can... Oh! Fan out and secure the area. Here we go. Ooh, that was a orc with a... Sh okay, just called Shadow Runner. Oh, ironically, Dralgoth's con <laughs> behind cover. Well, let's get started. Let's aim shot. For nine. Good deal. Um, We have to keep Shannon alive, I know for a fact. So let's go ahead and get Shannon here behind cover. And let's look at her spells. Mana Bolt. A powerful magical bolt that ignores normal armor and targets willpower. And Haste. Okay, remember we had Haste before. So right now I think the gun will do. Let's go ahead and shoot the orc. Now let's see what these other guys can do. Let's get to uh, Cortex, who will be under half cover. And he has an Uzi. What else does he have? Oh, just the Uzi. Probably should have got him a pistol or something. Oh well. Might as well take down the biggins first, right? Now Gallo Glass is gonna run up here. And I think take cover behind this barrel. And we only see one. Another Shadow Runner. Draw. Let's have Draw go ahead and take cover up here. Uh, Shannon will do the same. Oh, can he? Oh, we can take a shot. Excellent. Nick for six. I'll take it. And we'll get Portex over here. And what is he? Okay, his Decker abilities. Mark target. Marks enemy causing them to become easier to hit. Really now? Oh, line of sight blocked. Oh well. Let's have him run back over here. Now, are you in line of sight? Ooh, you are. Let's look and see what Gallo Glass has. Aim, heal wound, mana ball, and armor. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll try the mana ball, see if that does anything. Let's shoot the Shadow Runner. Okay, it does do damage. Outstanding. 
Whoa. Okay. There was a mana ball or a mana bolt. We'll have we'll have the mage take on the mage. Let's draw get the machete. Let's see if we can finish off this guy. Oh, and how? And he has something. What does he have? Oh, the key to the warehouse. Outstanding. Now draw will go ahead and take cover again. Shannon. What are you gonna do, Shannon? Shannon's gonna head over here. Anyone come into range? Uh, for a mighty three. Portex. I think Portex will run up here. And he'll use the mark target ability on the Shadow Runner. Ooh! I did not see that troll. And the mana balls on cooldown. Heal wound, aim, and armor. And are you in line of sight at all? Nope. So we'll move Galloglass down here. And what do you have? Power Bolt. Cool, so they just have a base attack, which is awesome. Good to know. Okay, got nicked. And a missed grenade. Whew. All right, Drawl. You're going to run right up into the middle of the action. Shannon is going to shoot by Drawl's head because she's awesome like that. She's a horrible shot, though, apparently. You know what? We're going to have... Yeah, Portex is going to run up here and light up this troll. For seven. And Gallo Glass is going to mana ball his fellow mage. Oh, it hit everyone. Ew. <laughs> Draw's looking back at him like, Sir, we're about to have words. Do we have time? Do we have enough for two attacks? Okay, no special attack yet. Come on, draw. Finish him off. Huzzah. As soon as the last Merc hits the ground, the docks become eerily silent. Good deal. Let's, uh... Let's use Gallo Glass's healing ability. Oh, wow, we got some good karma for that. Let's use... Well, wait a minute. Shannon's got a heal, doesn't she? Oh, she has haste. Never mind. Mana ball. Heal wound. Can she go ahead and... Or can he go ahead and use this? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Guess only in a combat situation. Oh, well. Drawl got nicked. He's, uh... Taking far worse damage. I want to head up there, but... We definitely have to head into this warehouse, where, I, where I'm sure we're going to find more boom. We're about to transition to a new location. Continue? Indeed. Spirit Talk. You head inside the darkened warehouse with Shannon, her eyes of that far-off gaze associated with looking into the astral plane. When, when the world changed, the Native American tribes made a resurgence as well, demanding a place in the new world. They got it. The Salish Sid, or I can't pronounce those, I apologize, council now represents 8.6 Amerindians from across a multitude of tribes, Salish, Maka, Sinareach, and others. They've adapted to the awakening better than the other nations, thanks to a deeper connection to the world, both physical and spiritual. You can see that connection alive in Shannon now. You notice the shift in her focus as she returns to the present. She nods to you. She can sense the spirits in this place. Now you just need to find them. And I'm sure there will be plenty of mercs blocking our path. Let's wait for the warehouse to load. Probably a... Oh, we gotta check and see... Are those all Lone Star Guards? And... Okay, there's an Adept. And a Shadow Runner. And we're gonna get right into combat here, aren't we? Let's see if we can be all sneaky sneaky and shoot this shadow runner in the back of the head. Oh, great. Way to go, Drawl. 
<laughs> you are... We're leveling up your uh, firearms as soon as possible. Shannon will take a powder over here. There we go. And I think... Portex, he has limited he has limited ammo with that gun, so he's just gonna start using his decking abilities. And Gallo Glass is gonna fire off the bolt for a mighty six. Oh grenade. Woo! And there's quite a few of these guys. You need to watch out for the adepts there. Oh, and another one. Good grief. Well, here we go, guys. We're getting right into the thick of it. Street Samurai versus Adept. Things are not looking good for the Street Samurai. We're gonna go ahead and fire off at this troll at point blank almost. And now it's time to use the big gun. We need to get rid of some of these guys, or gotta get rid of these guys before we can summon the spirit. Understood. And Portex missed. And let's go ahead and use the bolt here. And miss. Ooh, does Drawl get another? Oh, okay, he gets another power bolt. Shut We probably should have given Drawl some armor just now. Another grenade. Definitely need to start healing. See, even his, his buddy's looking at him like, What are you doing? Alright. Shot with the miss. That's good. The mage is going to try and heal Drawl. See if Drawl can finish off the adept. Excellent. Shannon has the mana bolt and the haste. So we'll go ahead and just shoot this guy. Portex. Portex will take cover around here. There we go. That's better. Now, Gallo Glass is going to use the heal wound on Draw. For 16, not bad. Now what? And cast armor on himself, because it looks like he's coming with the boomstick. Ooh, good call, Gallo Glass. And Shannon's uh, Shannon's shaman luck is coming into play here. And draw. Oh, draw gets another turn. Let's see if Shannon can finish this. Actually, let's focus on this orc. Plink, plink. And Portex is. Man, I wish I'd given Portex more weaponry. Let's use the mark target on that orc right there. And it missed. I guess he'll just use the fist. He'll try and punch the troll for a miss. That, I figured that was going to happen, but... Let's head over here. Oh, not the fist. Mages aren't supposed to do that. Galaglass, you're heading over here. Oh, there's four of them? Oh, wow. Shannon just took 24 damage. Massive, massive crit. We've got to make sure Shannon stays alive. Finish this guy off. There we go. Shannon, I apologize. We're going to keep pinking while we can. And do you have a med pack? Yes, you do. And not enough action points for that. You're going to run up here. Not enough AP. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and hand that off to 
I guess you. Why not? And you better have some good boom right now. Come on. For three. And your next trick will be to heal Shannon. There we go. I'm really glad we gave Gallo that armor. That's probably saved him right now. Draw missed with the machete. Not that time, though. Come on, Shannon. There we go. Shannon got a kill. It looks like we're still in combat. It means there's still baddies around. So let's head this way. Cortex will follow. I think we're just going to move as a co concise unit. Not going to try and split up the team. That never worked in Scooby-Doo. It's probably not going to work now. Uh, do you have a health pack? No, of course you don't. We're going to head here, and we're going to use... We're going to give that to Drawl. Increase his aim to make him a little bit nastier with that machete. And there are still aliens about. Or, <laughs> enemies. And aliens, too, depending on your point of view. We're not going to have Shannon take point. That's just stupid. Uh, we'll have Shannon right here. And does she have a health kit? Yes. She's going to go ahead and use it on... Can't use it on Gallo. We're going to go ahead and end her turn. Oh, there they are. Hello. That's convenient. Was that it? Now draw will take point. And, well, why not? Alright, that looks to be all the villains so far. Or all the enemies, rather. And Shannon's actually almost out of ammo, so that's pretty, probably very good we did that when we needed to. Or did that, you know, when we did. So it looks like we have to head this way. And I guess we're still in combat. So we'll just take this one step at a time. And Gallo, you can go ahead and heal yourself now, can't you? There you go. That's better. And draw. And we saw no enemy turn, so that's good. Draw will head this way. And I don't know why Shannon's taking point, but that's what we that's what we have here, so that's what we're doing. And no shotgun meeting us at the door. Thank God for small favors. And Gallo Glass will take the rear flank. And Drawl will be following closely behind. Much better. I believe we're heading near the area where... Yeah, okay, there it is. Good to know. Let's head this... Oh, there's enemies. Right back into the fray. Let's go ahead and have Portex take cover. Gallo Glass needs to quickly follow suit to get his heels ready. Oh, wow. There's people here. I did not see them. Okay, we're potentially in a bad way. There's another adept, and Drawl is way over here. So we're going to have Drawl here. Shannon... Shannon's going to hide this way, and she's going to cast... Actually, she can cast Mana Bolt right there, can't she? Yeah, let's do that. For eight. And drew attention to herself. That's not good. Does Portex still have that gun? Well, let's start using it. And out of ammo... So, Portex is pretty much done on the combat capability. That's good to know for future reference. Let's use his... Alright, he missed the aiming ability. And... Gallo's gonna... 
cast heal on himself. And then he's going to use the Mana Ball. Oh, I don't have enough action points for that. We're going to cast Armor on Draw. There we go. And that guy's running for the hills. Okay, he was just taking cover. Oh. Woo! Gallo Glass is a lucky man. Let's do this draw. For a mighty nine. We've got him cornered, pretty much. And you only have a little bit in your gun, but this is what these situations are for. Bullet in the back of the head. And we will cast nothing because we don't have enough action points. Alright. And he will go ahead and cast Mark Target on the Orc Shadow Runner. There we go. And Shannon doesn't really have anything that she can do. She's out of ammo. I believe. Can. Oh, reload! Okay, we can reload. That's good to know. If I had known that before. Well, I am a derp. That's okay, though. Mana ball, aim, and armor. You know what? Throw some magic in the orc's face, why not? And then we're gonna cast armor on... Cortex, who really hasn't had a chance to have armor yet. There we go. Okay. Okay, Drawl just took a flank of Boomstick. That's fine. He's more orc on orc action. I know that's what you guys came here to see. One more time. There we go. That's what you do. That's what a street samurai does right there. Alright, so Shannon's loaded her gun, so she's actually not useless. We were her first. This is our score. I'm afraid not. Let's go ahead and reload the Uzi. This game became a whole lot easier. <laughs> and Gallo... Is heal back up? Yes. Then we're going to heal our favorite orc. For a mighty six, but every little bit helps. Excellent. Oh, okay, Shannon's heading off by herself. But he dropped something. Item, Ares Flight Recorder. Find the payday the runners, or the payday the runners are after. Awesome. I didn't even know that was a quest. So we basically wiped out the mercs, I suppose? Let's go talk to Shannon. Come on, gentlemen. Okay, here we are. I will now summon the spirit. Ooh. Is that like a three-headed ghost or just three spirits together? Ooh, little creepy children. The air grows cold and the spirits of dead children coalesce from the vapor of your breath. Their cherubic faces are burned and their lips quiver as if they are about to cry, but their eyes are round and vacant and they glare at you now, unblinking. We are the innocents who have perished in the flames, choking on smoke as we fell from the sky, crying for our mothers. You bring anchors to your world, which was once home to us, and we will use them to testify. Show the first magical fetish to the spirits. We no longer see the world of flesh, Seeker. Only the essence and auras of living things. Words, though. Words may echo through the veil, and sometimes, sometimes we may hear them. Last night this place was filled with a scream that went on and on, drawing us to it. It was a man crying out for a witness as he died. And so we came to bear witness, but fled in terror before the malevolent spirit that profaned the man's remains. This spirit was other. It was not of this place. It had twisted its way through the veil and through the dark to come here. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, so maybe the Ripper's not, you know, one of the normal races. We showed the second fetish. When the other had gone and we returned to our vigil, we found two creatures of flesh. One you would call an elf, unsullied by technology and able to channel the energies of the cosmos. Yet his spirit was corrupted from within. He was dark and twisted, yet not like the other, 
and so we did not flee. I bet it was that orc we found at the second murder site. Or not the orc, the elf, rather. The one who looked all scientific, wore the glasses, and was actually apparently ugly. The second we knew to be a troll. Ribbons of his essence had been flayed from him, leaving cold machinery behind. His aura was the aura of one simple and confused. Between elf and troll lay the remains of the man whose sister now chants to us for justice. Might be the, uh, one with the arm. The elf, his essence remains in this place, where the man died. Something has been left behind, a small part of him, perhaps. Uh, spirit, can you tell us any more? The spirits begin to fade, all but the one. Its eyes harden and it takes full measure of you, as if to commit everything about you to memory. No, we must not stay. With the spirits gone, the young shaman releases her hold on the magical tether connecting her to the other realm. She reels from the backlash, or perhaps from the emotional toll of knowing her brother's last moments. They saw him. They were with him when he died. You alright? She takes a series of controlled breaths, only to shuddering with the first few. No, but I will be. I... I don't want that for him. Not what those poor souls have endured. My brother deserves to be free. Well... He will be, once we find his killer. Gotta continue the street justice. Yes, the elf and the troll. We have to find that piece of the elf the spirits spoke of. It's our best hope of stopping this. Well, let's go ahead and head back to the murder site. Come on, gang. And that was over here. We'll probably run right into McCluskey. Oh, nope. Never mind. DNA evidence. Blood. This is what the spirits wanted us to find. The piece of my brother's killer. It's not much, but it's enough. She scowls at it, looking every bit like she intends to reach through the small sample and dismember its owner from afar. And perhaps she can. Hmm. Can you track him with that? I can, given enough time. But I'm still feeling quite drained. I'll need to rest before I can try anything so involved. When I'm able, I'll commune with Bear, consult the spirits, and do what must be done. But in the meantime, you might take some portion of the sample to pursue a more conventional avenue of attack. Well, I have some friends who might be able to help. Good. Let me know if you learn anything about this elf and troll pair. And should you find them, I want to be there when they are brought low. I want to see the light leave their eyes, for my brother. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Far out. Well, is that it? I guess so. Let's look at our quest log real quick. We've got the optional. And return to the Seamstresses Union. And 13 karma. Awesome. Good deal, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We're going to be heading back to the Seamstresses Union and go into the next chapter of this murder mystery. Looks like we found one of our big villains with the piece. That weird elf and, you know, cybernetic troll. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you liked it, go ahead and click like down below. Uh, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel. That'd be a big help. And we'll catch you next time. Later days, everyone.